Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. I'm Melissa Barnes, Associate Editor of ECN. In this week's headlines, graphene gets colder, the solar impulse completes its cross-country journey, and a laser Gatling gun. A German laser weapons hobbyist has built a proof-of-concept laser Gatling gun. The aluminum-bodied gun's spinning turret features six blue 1.4-watt Class 4 lasers, while a 100-milliwatt green laser is mounted to one side to assist in aiming. The turret speed is controlled using a knob on the underside of the gun, where four ball bearings keep the turret spinning. The motor and aiming laser are powered by eight AA batteries, and the six blue lasers run off four parallel 18650 lithium ions. Though the lasers aren't strong enough to fight off aliens and robots just yet, they are capable of popping a balloon. The famed material already set to enable faster, stronger, and foldable electronic devices, known as graphene, can also help keep electronic components up to 25% cooler, giving it the potential to significantly extend the working life of computers and other electronic devices. Is it cold in here? Researchers at the University of Technology in Sweden have demonstrated the ability to reduce the temperature in the tiny areas where the electronics work the most intensively and generate the most heat. It was found that the graphene was able to remove heat from these hotspots on a micro and nano scale, promising to improve the working life of electronic devices. This is significant, since around 50% of the energy consumed by data centers, according to a recent EPA report, went towards cooling. The recent discovery could give graphene the ability to not only passively cool electronic devices, but also offer huge energy savings. And finally, the Solar Impulse, the solar-powered airplane, which embarked on a trans-American flight on May 3rd, has successfully completed its cross-country flight and landed at New York's JFK on July 6th. The Solar Impulse has proven to be a landmark in the future of aviation, as it has completed the journey exclusively through solar energy, flying both day and night without the use of any fuel. The flight was not without its challenges, though, as the left wing suffered an eight-foot rip in the wing fabric on the lower wing surface. Inspection by helicopter while in flight led to the conclusion that the rip was stable and would not prevent the mission from proceeding. The Solar Impulse team now plans to build and test the next generation of the solar-powered aircraft. The HBSIB will be larger and heavier, comprising a pressurized cockpit to allow cruising at altitudes up to 39,000 feet. Advanced avionics will allow the HBSIB to safely navigate the airways on transcontinental and transoceanic flights. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Melissa Barnes, and this has been your Engineering Update.